my name's Precious, and welcome back, 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 back again, again, again to my YouTube channel. Now let's get into this video. One, two, three, fuck it. My darling, I love you, 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 I have not uploaded a video in like two weeks. This is a sit down video. I haven't done a sit down video in so long. And this is a Florida video. Here y'all, here y'all, here y'all, here y'all. I love my Florida videos. Y'all love my Florida videos. Y'all, we just love talking about Florida, chopping up about Florida, comparing. Like, we, we really just gonna get into it. I've done Florida slang. I've done North Florida versus South Florida. And now I'm gonna be rating and talking about the different cities in Florida. We're gonna find out who the best city, what is the best city in Florida. If you are in the city that I'm talking about, rep down below, rep your area code, rep your county, rep it all, y'all, because this is a Florida video. Us Floridians, we go crazy about our city. Period. So y'all, we just gonna chop it up. We gonna get into it, y'all. But y'all already know before we get into this video, you already know what you need to do. We, 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 you already know what you need to do. You need to like, comment, and subscribe because we are on the road to 250 subscribers. So you guys subscribe to the channel. Support a melody queen. I am melody. You see the melanin. So support me, period. Without further ado, we can now get into the video. So y'all already know I'm valid. I'm bit valid, okay? I was born from the age of in the womb to third grade i forget how old you was in third grade i think you like nine or maybe eight don't remember but i lived in jacksonville florida duval county since birth to third grade now i live in fort lauderdale florida barrett county Currently, so I'm valid. I live in North Florida and I live in South Florida. So you know I've been I've been around all ports. I've been around all ports. Okay? So we're just gonna get into it. <laughs> Yo, I feel it like somebody punched me in my eye. This part swollen right here. Like y'all see the difference? Yo, my eye, bro. I don't know. My eye, I don't know what's going on with it. I think it's the lashes. But whatever. The first city we're going to talk about is Fort Lauderdale. We're just going to talk about it because I'm in Fort Lauderdale currently. So, y'all, Fort Lauderdale, we're just going to top it up talking about her. I feel like she's a her. She's giving her vibes. Fort Lauderdale, she's a girl, you know. Fort Lauderdale is kind of, she's kind of quiet and like old people type, old people type city. Like, Fort Lauderdale, you don't really see anything really popping off in Fort Lauderdale. And it's just so, like, it just gets old, kind of, like, like, old people. And it's, like, I don't know. It just gives old people. Like, it gives very laid back. Like, Fort Lauderdale, you don't hear no rah, rah, rah. It's just laid back. Like, everything chill. Like, everything just chill vibes. And don't think that's hating because I live in Fort Lauderdale, so I ain't hating. It just gives very chill vibes. But I know back in the days. Back in the days, Fort Lauderdale was where it was popping off. Because my mother, my mother done fought so many people. Like, and she lived in Fort Lauderdale. Her school, she went to uh, Parkway and Dillard. I forget which elementary school she said. But I know it was really popping off back then. But it's not really popping off like that no more. So we just go leave it, you know. But Fort Lauderdale, I like Fort Lauderdale. It's laid back, it's chill. It just gives very, just moderate next we're gonna talk about pompano beach florida pompano beach florida it gives a mixture of old and hood like old and hood i was gonna say ghetto but it's not really ghetto old and hood that's what it gives like it just gives old and hood old and hood old and hood it's like it's like it's it's just it's split in half it's just split in half but like they intermingle together you know they intermingle together you see what i'm saying like the school i go to i go to a school in pompano the school i go to is it's like very it's kind of like old it's kind of like not the school is old but the neighborhood's kind of like old but the neighborhood also gives hood 
You see what I'm saying? Like, in Color Your City, people say Kaya City. I know what this... I'm just trying to be proper. It's Color Your City, not Kaya City. But Color Your City... Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. It is just... Whew, Jesus. My church is in Color Your City. So... I'm valid. I just I just want y'all to make sure I'm valid because y'all can't y'all can't come for me. My church is in color your city the Great Community Mission Baptist Church of Pablo Incorporated, period. That's the name of it. Go to it. No it don't go to it. It's COVID. But I'm saying the church right next to the corner store, pals, I believe. The corner store is named it's pals. But yeah. But it's just so, it's so like ghetto. The color city is ghetto. Color city is ghetto. But the rest of Fort Pompano, old and hood, old and hood. Like, it just gives that. Because where my great grandma live, that's like old, but it's hood too. Like, it just give old and hood. That's what Pompano give, old and hood. So if you're from Pompano, Comment down below if you agree with me. If you don't, I'm sorry. But that's what I get Pompano. Pompano, I'm valid because my church is in Pompano. My school is in Pompano. So relax. Please. Relax. Please. Okay, next we're going to talk about Jacksonville, Florida, where I was born and raised. Y'all, Jacksonville, Florida. I love Jacksonville, Florida. Every time I go to it, it's like the air. It's just something in the air that's so, like, breathable. You know, like, down here in fort lauderdale and pompano the air i just feel like it's contaminated <laughs> like when you get to jacksonville you can breathe you know like it's just a smell to jacksonville which is good like it's just so refreshing you feel me but i think it's like that because jacksonville is rural jacksonville is rural it's it's like the parts like i talked about this in my um north Florida versus south Florida video it's like it's two totally different parts like it's the middle class and then not the middle class but it's like the low middle class and it's the high middle class i wouldn't say it's like rich or poor like it's the low middle class and the high middle class and you can tell a total total difference between the two like from where my old church is and from where my god sister lives totally different like it's just like you would not think it's the same city you would not think it's the same city so i love jacksonville though it's like um kind of rural you know the buildings you until you get to the high middle class you don't really see a lot of tall buildings like that so i just i like jacksonville i love jacksonville it is so cheap to live in jacksonville like if you are a like a person that's like trying to figure out your life and don't really want to spend too much money and stuff like that go to jacksonville because it's cheap to live um it it's it's kind of you're gonna see people but you're not really gonna see people if you're not trying to look for people like and everybody in jacksonville nice like if you're like single i feel like you should be in jacksonville you don't gotta pay that much rent like jacksonville is just good i feel like it's good but if you're a very social person and you i feel like it's not good like for college students i don't think jacksonville no because it's not like a lot of social social scene like the social scene is not there but i got a lot of family in jacksonville so my social scene was fine because my god sister my god mama like and my other god sister I got cousins up there, my great grandma, like, I, I, I have the socialness, but I'm just saying, and my uncle, he live up there, so I'm good, but if you're alone, I don't think, I don't think it's gonna click, I don't think it's gonna click, but, um, yeah, I like Jacksonville, I love Jacksonville, Jacksonville, um, I feel like the crime rate there is pretty high, it's pretty high there, so be careful, um, yeah, don't go to jail because the Jacksonville jail is not where you want to be. Any jail is not where you want to be. But the Jacksonville jail is not where you want to be. Just saying that because, you know, I hear things. I hear things. So just don't go to jail. Y'all, I'm sorry if the camera angle changed a little bit. It's cool. It's fine. We still good. We still good. We, we good, right? We good. Okay. So the next city we're going to talk about in Florida is Daytona. Mm, 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 mm. Daytona. Now, Daytona, I've been to Daytona, and she's not really a vibe. Like, she's really not a vibe. 
Um, Daytona is very, very rural. More rural than Jacksonville. So much more rural. Like, Daytona is, like, low class. Like, I, it just looks that way. Like, there's not a lot of buildings. It's, like, very short buildings. And it's just, it is just, stuff is just so spaced out, it seems like. Like, when I was there, I'm like, it's just so spaced out, kind of like, and it, and it's like not, it's, it's, it's like it's not upkept, like, the, I don't know, Daytona, I just, I could never see myself in Daytona, I, and I'm just, I'm not gonna say I could never see myself, because Bethune-Cookman University is in Daytona, and my dad went there for college, so I could end up going. I don't, like, I can't see myself, like, with me, I'm a very, very social person, and I love just going places, like, in Daytona, where, where, where do you go? Like, for people who go to Bethune Cookman, like, I don't understand where, like, where do you go? Like, it, I, I didn't see no type of party places, barely any food places like that. It's just mostly buildings, like buildings. Like, what is in these buildings? Like churches or barbershops or something like that. Like, I didn't see, and I didn't even see no downtown. Like, I wonder how downtown look. Maybe that's where the, cause that's downtown is usually where, you know, stuff be popping off in cities and stuff. But I didn't see downtown, but I just feel like, the college life, the, the typical college life, like I feel like you can't have that in Daytona because it's not giving that. It's really not giving that. So if you're more like a, a loner person, you don't like the social, maybe that's good for you too in Daytona, but not for me. Like it just, mm -mm, I, I, mm -mm, mm -mm. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I can't, I can't, and like I barely even saw at schools, like elementary schools or middle schools and stuff like that. Like that's in Jacksonville too. Like you barely see any schools too. Like it's just so weird. Like where are the schools? I know people are going to school, duh, not dumb, but I don't see them. <laughs> I don't see them. Where are they? So yeah, that's what Daytona give. If you from Daytona comment down below something to change my mind because i just i just can't see it i can't see it mm -mm. next we're gonna talk about miami 305 okay miami 305 <laughs> miami she she i feel like us floridians we get tired of miami like people talking about miami because it's like that is like the only thing florida is like only celebrities come to Miami and you hear all these people talking about, oh yeah, we finna go to Miami for the weekend, like, or not for the weekend, but like we finna go to Miami for our vacation and things like that. And it's just like, to us, Miami is just another city. It's literally just another city. Like y'all, it, it's hype to them, but to us, it, it's mm, it's just another city, babes. Like I, I don't get it. Like it's just another city. Now, Miami, I feel like, is a great place to, you know, live. You know, like, if you want to live, you want to live, you go to Miami. Because Miami got the places, it got the food, it got it got the hookups, it got everything in Miami. So, that's, I feel like, that's why people like it. It's a great tourist de destination. But for us Floridians, we're just like, Miami is just another city. Like, calm down. Like, literally calm down. Like, it's not, it's not even, like relax so if you like having a birthday or something like that if you want to do something go to miami i i might go to miami for my 18th birthday which is in like a really really long time like probably like 10 months away so i need to relax wait is it 10 months today's march march april may june july august September, october november december january february 11. i could have did that the other way you know math is my forte don't know how to be OBGYN and don't know how to do math. Pray for me. I pray I don't be your doctor. I'm, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Lord God, I'm playing. I'm really playing. Like, I really want to be OBGYN, Lord. And I know only you can make it happen for me. Lord God, bless me to be able to retain the knowledge to do math, do science, and just be my great, a great doctor. A great doctor, Lord God. Just bless me. I'm just playing. I hope I'm somebody, doctor. I really do. Ooh, had to get that. Had to get that clear. Cause you know you be playing. What comes out your mouth is powerful. The power of the tongue. 
If I had 10,000 tongues, I would praise the Lord. With each one of them. My grandma said, if I had 10,001, I would praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I'm sorry, y'all. Well, I'm not sorry because I'm giving y'all some glory. Hallelujah. I hope you feel it through this phone. Hallelujah. Mm, 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 mm. Okay, let's get back to the video, y'all. So, yeah, Miami, she just another city to us Floridians. Like, it's not really, it's not really that, you know, it's not really that big of a deal. Like, it's really not. So, for these people that's coming to Miami to, you know, like, we clearly do that in a weekend. Like, relax. Please. Please. Mm -mm. It's giving you fiending. You fiending for Miami. You fiending for it. Like, Miami isn't a LA. Miami isn't a uh, um a Bahamas like eh, oh. like I wouldn't even say it's in Atlanta because I've been to Atlanta before and you know to Georgia Georgians is it or Georgia's Georgia natives Atlanta is just how we feel about Miami so I wouldn't say that about Atlanta so just just stop now we can get into Tallahassee Tally Tallyville College Town whatever you want to call it. So Tallahassee, I feel like college, yeah, babes, it gives Tallahassee. Like if you want to experience college life, college, go to Tallahassee, go to Tallahassee. Tally is where it's at. I feel like, like Tally, you might see me in Tally. I graduate next year. So pretty soon, 2022, I'll be in Tally. Per. I think 2022. Yeah, that's 2022, right? Yeah, that's or 2023. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. You see, y'all, I just be getting carried away talking about stuff. I don't even know. Like, trying to do math again. Like, it failed the first time. Why would you keep trying to do it? Why? <laughs> but y'all, Tallahassee is the college city, college town, because for the agricultural and mechanical university and florida state university are literally right next to each other 0 0.0 miles away 0 0.0 miles away from each other they're right next to each other so the college life is very 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 prevalent and there's a um community college close to that as well so if babes tallahassee gives college and I heard it's not expensive to live in Tallahassee either because if you want to like get college apartments and like off campus, it's like very non-expensive and it's so many because it's such a college town. Like y'all, it's so many college housing, college apartments, like it's so many. And then the, like, if you want to like y'all tally, tally is where it's at, honestly. So I highly recommend Tallahassee like I love Tallahassee next shot we're gonna get into Orlando the big O Orlando okay y'all Orlando we love Orlando over here we love Orlando y'all I just love Orlando I, but I feel like people you can't live in Orlando like people who live in Orlando like I don't understand because it's just like Orlando is a tourist destination I feel like even Floridians like Orlando is a vacation place like how can you live in Orlando, like Orlando is for vacations. Like people don't live there. Like if somebody told me to live in Orlando, I'd be like, how? Like, how do you live in Orlando? Like y'all, Orlando is tourist destination. I love Orlando. I really, really do love Orlando. Orlando, I love her because she has all the theme parks and she has, I don't want to say it's my dream school, but it kind of is. period that's where i really want to go you know we just got to pray about it ask god to bring stuff to my mind so i could pass the tests and get gpas and essays and things like that you know orlando is like a great place to be like a great great place to be because you have all the theme parks in orlando you have ucf one of the biggest colleges in the world like honestly it's huge the biggest colleges in florida and stuff like that i Either UCF or FIU is the biggest college in Florida. One of them. I forget which one it is, but I love Orlando. Like, Orlando, every time I go to Orlando, I have a great time. Probably because it's vacation, but I have a great time. Like, Champions Gate, best Airbnb place ever. Best Airbnb place. Like, love Champions Gate. Like, if you want to rent, 
like an Airbnb or something in Orlando, get Champions Gate. Like there's no other place you can rent from. Like any other place is trash. <laughs> I've never even rented any other place. Well, I've never rented because I don't have that coin. My parents did, but it's fine. But I've only stayed in Champions Gate when I was in Orlando. And let me tell you, babes, we had a great time. We had a great time. So, yeah, Orlando, she's the vibe. I love Orlando, but I don't see how anybody could live there. Like, I don't see how anybody could live in Orlando. I, I just can't see it. I can't. I can't see it. It's just one big theme park to me. Like, Orlando is just one big theme park. Like, all the theme parks is in Orlando. Like, I just can't see you living in or Orlando. I'm sorry. Like, if you live in Orlando, comment down below. Please, because I don't understand how. I don't understand. I really don't. Y'all, so, next city we're going to talk about is Tampa. Now, this, this is the last city, I believe. But I do have some other comments and some things about Florida, you know, at the end of the video. You already know, like just can't end a video here like you know i gotta say my two cents but like about around florida in general but tampa y'all i've never been to tampa but every time i see something about tampa luxury white not white as in people white as in this wall like this wall kind of off-white but white as in that like everything is just so clean slick upscale like i've never like the university of south florida babes that is a beautiful university that's a beautiful university i like that school too but i don't know if i could go i can't even i since i've never been to tampa i can't really see myself in tampa but it just looks so like clean sleek like just just i've never seen any bad parts of tampa like even the houses and stuff like um the bella twins i know they're rich so obviously their house would be nice but i've seen their houses and beautiful um damari from tiktok he lives in a great house in tampa too like no part of tampa i've seen is her hideous like i just seen upscale nice just tampa like i just feel like it's just so just white like it's so white like everything is white I don't know. I just feel like it's just so clean, you know. But show if y'all live in Tampa and y'all see have live in a bad part or y'all know any bad parts about Tampa, let me know down below in the comments because to Tampa to me is just clean, slick, white. Like that's all it is. Like it's just so clean. Like I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Tampa is she just she just different. She just different. I've never been. But that's what I've seen from pictures and videos and things like that. So, y'all, I don't know if I want to make a whole dedicated video to these other things I'm about to say about Florida. But we're just going to talk about it. Y'all, the reason why Floridians can't drive. Let me tell you. The reason why Floridians cannot drive. And I found this out. It's because when you have your license now... One, it's in a parking lot. It's in a parking lot. I was going to say driveway. It's in a parking lot. We do Our road test is not on an actual street. It's not on an actual road. It's in a parking lot. All Florida driving tests are in a parking lot. All of them. So I'm probably going to pass. And watch out on the road. Because if I'm on the road, yikes. But I'm just saying, all of them are in a parking lot. The license test is in a parking lot. Number two, on the test, it does not require you to parallel park. It does not require you to parallel park. Three, you can miss up to 30 points on the driving test and you still pass. The driving test only lasts seven to eight minutes. So that is why people can't drive in Florida. The test is literally in a parking lot. Like you don't go on the road. You don't. That's why people can't drive. And I'm probably going to be one of those people. So... I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. Like, I, there's a high chance I'm going to be one of those people. Like, there's a really high chance. So, I'm sorry. Not sorry. But I'm, I want a car and I want to drive places. So, just deal with me on the road. Just deal with me. But yeah, that is all for my little rant on why Floridians can't drive. Let me know if you want me to do a whole video explaining why Florida is the way Florida is. Let me know. Because I have some things, some facts some things about Florida and why she's the way she is. Why do I look like I have a unibrow? I don't. 
my eyebrows are really grown out though i need to get them waxed but yeah, y'all, I hope y'all enjoyed this video, y'all. I am back. We just hoping, y'all, we just hoping I can get back into my groove. I missed two weeks, and I filmed videos, but they wasn't really videos like I wanted to put out. Like, I stopped, I didn't edit them for so long, and I just fell out of love for them. So, y'all, we just hope that I can get back on my grind, and I just hope I can take this YouTube thing to the next level. But, y'all, let me know any other Florida videos you want me to film, because I do want to film another Florida video. I want to film Florida TikTokers. I want to film Wild Florida the way Florida is, like, y'all just give me Florida videos for the ideas going to different places in Florida because if I get a car you know I got my own job now I haven't told YouTube this but I got a job now so you know I could go places and pay for my stuff now I don't have to ask my parents so and I can pay for Uber so you know what it's up there and it's stuck there okay so y'all let me know if y'all want me to visit any florida destination spots like just let me know what y'all want me to do because i'm willing to do it like am i going to turn into a florida channel like is my channel going to be florida now i feel like my channel is going to be florida but y'all i hope y'all enjoyed this video make sure you like comment and subscribe make sure you tell your mommy dad sister brother or tell your uncle make sure you tell them all subscribe to my channel and i think you guys click on this video because you didn't have to you didn't have to click on this video you really did not have to click on this video but you did so i'll tell you guys without further ado that's all today's video bye one two three fuck it my darling i love you i love you i love you